What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and man do I have a crazy, crazy update for you guys today. Last night, courtesy of Team Dokkaner on Twitter, we now have the leaked featured units for the upcoming Goku and Frieza Dual Dokkan Fest banners, at least on the JP version of the game. For those of you who are wondering why it took me so damn long to come out with this video, Basically, I was hoping they would eventually release the global banners as well, but after waiting almost a full 24 hours, I can't wait any longer, so let's just freaking do this. Now, I hope you guys are ready, because if this is the first time you're hearing this news, this might literally blow your face off. These are some of the best banners we've seen in the game so far, if not the best Dokkan Fest banners we've seen up to this point. If everything stays the same, of course, a little disclaimer, things are still subject to change up until release, but this is a pretty safe bet for what the banners will look like on JP when they launch in a couple days. So why don't I start with the Goku banner first, and then move on to the Frieza banner, and then we'll call it a day. So on the screen right now, you should be seeing the leaked units for the Goku banner, and they are really, really, really good. The first thing you see, top left, is the new Goku. He's the one that will transform all the way from base form to Super Saiyan Blue. And he's gonna be an absolute beast of a card, and just a really, really beautiful card too. So this guy is definitely the one you want to see pop up during your summons. Beside him is another new Goku, he's gonna be a physical Goku. And he's also really good, he's a filler, but you should be happy when you pull him because he is gonna be really solid on a super physical team, or a super team, pure Saiyans team, anything like that. So, really good filler unit. Well, those two guys we already knew about, they've been leaked for a while now. What we didn't know, what was still a question mark, was what were gonna be the other featured SSRs on the banner. And <laughs> the, my expectations were blown away because this is better than anything I would have expected. Number one, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, leader of one of the best categories in the game. He's not even available on Global yet, but JP players should definitely be really happy about this. Number two, we got Tech Vegito Blue. Man, um, what can I say about him? He is still the hardest hitting TUR in the game. And if you don't have him, you definitely want him, trust me. Now, number three, we got UI Goku, one of the most hype units ever. And it's mainly because it's freaking, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku, but especially for those people who didn't manage to pull him the first two times he came around on JP, then this is another chance for you to pull him. So that's very exciting for you guys. And Realm of Gods, of course, is really, really strong. And the other two guys, a little bit less hype, but still very solid. We got uh, Angel, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, leader of the, uh, well, 120 leader for tech, or Super Tech, and we also got Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku, who is a really good filler on Super AGL or Realm of Gods or what you have it. But overall, this whole package put together makes for an absolutely crazy banner. Um, I I don't know, like I think this might be better than the LR Gogeta and LR Go Vegito Dual Dokkan Fest banners for the three year anniversary. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below because those banners were really good, but I think this one might have them beat and uh, maybe you can make that decision after you see the other banner as well and then we can do like a two banner to two banner comparison but okay so that's goku banner let's move on to the frieza one this is the frieza one should be on the screen right here maybe on this side i don't i don't really remember but uh, um I, I was pointing this way the whole time but it, i actually be on this side either way it doesn't really matter first unit you see is the new frieza it's gonna transform all the way from first form frieza which is what you see there to um final for no uh golden frieza so he's gonna go like First form, second form, final form, and then Golden Frieza, just like Goku with the same same number of stages, and actually very similar uh, stat, like very similar abilities and things like that as Goku as well. But I'm not gonna get into that in this video. The one beside him is a new Extreme STR Frieza, very similar to the new Goku on the Goku banner. Just you know, this one's gonna be Extreme, and he's also gonna be a Frieza. <laughs> Other units we see here. AGL Turles, one of my favorite cards in the game. He is the best support unit in the game, and of course, leader of the movie bosses category. Um, we got Strength Rose coming back. Of course, you had to have Strength Rose to be the counter to the Tech Vegito, or at least, like, you know, make it even. So, Strength Rose is coming back for the first time on JP, and hopefully for the first time on Global as well. We'll get to that. Uh, we got Angel Golden Frieza, leader of the Resurrected Warriors category, one of the hardest hitting categories in the game. Well, yeah, but they hit really hard. I, I don't know where they compare to like Super Saiyan 3 and Patara. I know they don't hit as hard as those ones, but maybe they're third. I, I, don't, I haven't really done the calculations, I'm not really sure, but they hit very, very hard. We'll just leave it at that. Um, and then we also got Final Form Cooler. My personal opinion, he is the best uh, Extreme 120 lead. And of course, we also have the Tech Golden Frieza, who is 
you know, the best Golden Frieza next to the category lead one. He is an amazing tank and still does some really, really good damage on Resurrected Warriors as well. So overall, fantastic banner. This combined with the Goku banner, I think makes for probably the best dual Dolphin best we've seen in the game. But yo, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I want to see your opinions on how this compares to the Gogeta and Vegito banners. Um, so a couple things I wanted to mention before I left you guys off. I know there's a lot of information to take in. This is just awesome, awesome information because if this rings true, and I think there's a good chance it will, then yeah, you guys are in for some really, really good stuff. Now, a couple things though, uh, definitely I think that Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta will not be on the global banner because he's not even available. Uh, he's, he has do his, do his own Doka Fest hasn't even happened in the game yet, so they're going to take him off. And then uh, everything else should stay the same actually. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't bring back Vegito Blue. I don't see why they wouldn't bring back UI Goku or Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku or Kalkan Blue, Blue Goku. So all those ones should stay the same. It's just they're probably going to remove Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and you know throw in another category lead in there. And the other one on the Frieza banner, Turles is going to be gone. There's no way they're going to put Turles on there because Turles literally just had his Dokkan Fest right before this anniversary, or not anniversary, the celebration, and it just make no sense. It also would piss off a lot of people who did summon for him on his own individual banner because that banner was not good, and I just don't see them doing that. So they're going to remove Turles and put an extreme category lead there as well. Not really sure what it would be, but you guys can take your pick. Make a guess in the comment section below if you want. So that's pretty much it. I think those are the only two changes that will happen. I think for both sides of the game, everything else will pretty much look like this, with the exception of those two units I talked about. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> hype guys. This is absolutely hype, absolutely exciting. And uh, I, I just can't wait to summon these banners. I can't wait to summon these banners. I don't know what kind of deal they're gonna do. Maybe like a three plus one, maybe a step up deal, you know, um, like 10 stones for three and you know, so on and so forth. We'll see, we'll see. It doesn't matter. These are gonna be amazing, amazing uh, banners. And maybe even, they might even include tickets as well. Maybe on the global side, maybe on both versions. Because you know that for dual Dokkan Fest like this, Global usually gets tickets for doing multis too. So we'll have to see. Let's just have our fingers crossed. I hope that JP gets it too, because you know, why not? I want more people that pulls them, the more happiness there is in the world. And I'm happy when you guys are happy. So <laughs> anyways, that's it for today. Hope you guys found this video interesting. Hope you, hope you found it hype. Hope you found it exciting. And uh, you know what? Let me know in the comments down below which one you guys are more excited about. Let me know if you're excited, more excited about the Frieza, more excited about the Goku. Personally, I'm more excited about Goku as a unit, like the new AGL Goku, but I'm actually more excited for this um, Frieza banner, mainly because of STR Rose. He is the unit that I've been wanting for well, ever since I couldn't pull him on his own banner on Global, so let's hope it happens this time around. Let's hope we pull the Rosé. Even if we can't pull the Freeze Up, let's hope we pull the Rosé and make my extreme villain team complete. Anyways guys, hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you like the video, make sure you like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But I already said this, but you can't hear it, you can't hear it enough. Make sure you have an awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.